A differential controller regulates a pump by sensing the difference in temperature between the collector and the storage tank. Uh, this is the collector probe and this is the storage probe. This is the collector uh, temperature and this is the storage temperature. Right now you can see the temperature of both probes is approximately the we'll same. We have control over the differential on temperature. That temperature is set between 8 and 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And it varies slightly depending on the storage tank temperature, but don't worry about that. Think of it as a differential of approximately, the differential on is approximately 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Anyway, that temperature is set. But the differential off uh, temperature is uh, something else. This is something that we want to be able to regulate. And we can regulate that with this uh, little uh, pot right here. This is the differential off setting. Uh, so, uh, to start with, you, know, you should set that pot about mid-range. So here's uh, mid-range. So we'll turn the fan on by raising the temperature in the collector. Now, this is a soldering iron, so you can see the, how sensitive the probe is. It raises the temperature quite rapidly. Uh, now, the, the fan should come on any moment now. Let's see what temperature it takes to raise the, turn the fan on. All right, so at about 82 or 83 degrees, the fan comes on. Uh, so that's a differential of somewhere between 8 and 9 degrees to turn the fan on. Now we want to see what temperature it goes off at. And here it is. The difference in 78 degrees and 74 degrees is 4 degrees. So the differential offsetting is 4 degrees. In other words, when the collector temperature gets within 4 degrees of the storage tank temperature, the pump goes off. Now, if we want to extract more heat, we can adjust this uh, differential pot uh, counterclockwise to set the differential off to a minimum. In other words, that temperature right now is going to be very close to the storage tank temperature to turn the pump off. To turn the pump on, remember, that differential is going to be uh, 8 or 9 degrees. So we turn the pump on at about 82 degrees, and the temperature is dropping rapidly because this probe is cooling. It's a very sensitive probe. So as this temperature gets closer, as this collector temperature gets closer to the storage tank temperature, we expect the pump to go off. Now, the rate of uh, temperature drop is going to slow down as we get closer and closer to this temperature. <laughs> and it may never even reach it. Uh, so what we can do, we can raise the storage tank temperature to meet that temperature by applying just a slight bit of heat we can see that uh, it came off and the temperature differential is about one degree. Okay, now let's see what happens if we adjust this uh, potentiometer totally clockwise. Uh, now this is a very weird setting. Uh, the uh, differential on temperature is going to be just about the same as the differential off. So the pump's not going to be sure whether to come on or off at a critical point. When we reach about 82 degrees, either uh, raising the temperature or lowering the temperature, you're going to see there's a little confusion. See that? Did you hear that? Uh, it wasn't sure whether to come on or off because it's supposed to be a critical temperature at which the, the pump shuts off and on. So uh, that's not... Uh, you normally don't want to set the uh, differential uh, that high. Okay, but these are the choices you have. You have uh, these extreme settings with this uh, differential pot. Um, now, if you want to conserve energy, suppose you have a photovoltaic system and you only want the pump to come on in really bright sunlight so that there's plenty of power available 
and there's also plenty of heat available. You don't want to nitpick about getting every last ounce of heat out of your collector, uh, but you, you want to be energy conscious. Okay, in that case, you'll set your pot uh, clockwise, but you don't want to go all the way clockwise, just about here. So now the differential would be uh, 7 or 8 degrees for the differential offsetting. Let's see if that's true. These are the settings that I'm just guessing at. Okay, so it comes on at 82 degrees. Now, at what temperature will it go off? You can see the temperature in the collector starting to drop. It's down to 80 degrees. All right, so at about 80 degrees, the pump comes off. That's a differential of 6 degrees. Okay, I wanted to thank you for your patience, but there's just one other thing I wanted to show you. And this is mostly for people who have a solar hot water system that's powered uh, by uh, photovoltaic panels. Now, if your photovoltaic uh, system is small, you're going to want to adjust your uh, differential pot so that you uh, can serve uh, power. Now, if, you, if this adjustment is uh, too uh, low, it's going to keep the pump on a little longer than it should be, especially if you get some clouds and for some strange reason your pump just stays on and on. And uh, when this happens, it's going to start depleting your, your battery and the voltage is going to drop uh, pretty low. But you don't want that voltage to drop too low because that's not good for your battery. So we have a battery protect circuit built in uh, to guard against this uh, situation. Right now you can see the voltage uh, to the AC-DC controller is 14.05 volts, but uh, when the pump comes on, you'll see that voltage drop a little. Watch. Okay. So the voltage dropped to 12.7 volts. Okay. Collector voltage, uh, the collector temperature is about over 100 degrees, but we can still shut the pump on if the voltage supply is too low. And I'm going to lower that voltage right now by putting a resistor. Now you can see the uh, voltage dropped to 8.1 volts. Now if I take this resistor off, you can see that the pump comes right back on as long as the voltage goes back on. Uh, this is the battery protect circuit. It's just one other feature of the AC-DC differential controller.